Hello teachers, as we start talking about our integration with Microsoft Teams and Canvas, specifically the ability for us to use Microsoft Teams via Canvas for reading progress and reading coach, along with other tools that we'll talk about, let's start by talking about this integration, okay? So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take your Canvas and make sure that you sync to be able to use Microsoft Teams, okay? How do we do that? Very simple. I'm inside of my Canvas class right now. What I want you to see is that I want you to go to, I want you to go to settings, okay? Once you go to settings, I want you to go to integrations all the way over here, okay? Over here, you have an option that says Microsoft Sync and it's going to be turned off by default, okay? So go ahead and turn it on. Once you turn it on, go ahead and click sync. Okay, what that is going to do is actually going to look at your Canvas class, it's going to take your roster, it's going to create a Microsoft Teams with your roster in it, and you're gonna be able to access it as well as your students be able to access Microsoft Teams via Canvas. So once we've done that, make sure you go to navigation and make sure that if Microsoft Teams is hidden back, back here somewhere, or on the bottom, just bring it up and don't forget to save. This is how your and your students are going to find uh, or going to reach Microsoft Teams. So notice that now Microsoft Teams is in my course navigation right here, okay? Go ahead and click on it. Now you're going to see that it's going to create for you a Microsoft Teams, okay? It's gonna give it the name of your class. And notice that it says class isn't activated yet, okay? We got one more step to do, okay? Um, if it's the first time using it, it might ask you to log in. Just use your Microsoft credentials and you should be able to um, add it. There's other tools in here that you've seen before in another video I made. You can uh, send messages from the general tab in Teams into Canvas. You also can put messages from here. But let's go ahead and open Teams. When you open Teams, this is very important. I want you to always hit cancel and I want you to always say use the web app instead. Okay, and there is the team and you might see something that says the 64 students are joining, waiting to join. This particular class in Canvas is cross-listed. That's why there's so many students and you will want to activate it. Okay, and now you're ready to go and you're going to have access to a lot of different options. But the one we're going to worry about um, this series or this week is going to be assignments to be able to do reading progress. So let's go ahead and start with setting up our Microsoft Teams via Canvas. If you have any questions, let us know.